Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. In this tutorial, we will talk about how to perform a Man Whitney or Kruskal Wallis test for our analysis. Man Whitney and Kruskal Wallis tests are non parametric tests and they are used to find association between uh, different variables. And uh, for that, uh, here you can see that I am using a file and this file contains uh, information about different gene expression this is a tab, tab delimited excel file i have opened it in uh, spss using this open file command here and from here you can see after opening this that each column represents the value of some specific gene and uh, for instance here it is written gene 1 and uh, this is the expression of gene 1 in this sample this is the expression of gene 1 in this sample and so on and so forth similarly for gene 2 this is the expression of gene 2 in uh, this sample and again so there are 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 genes right and i want to check association of this gene expression of this uh, sample uh, yeah let's say we, this is some sort of a cancer sample and this cancer patient is in grade 3 right tumor grade 3 and uh, and then uh, there's a different type of classification like tumor stage it's in tumor stage 1 and uh, for instance this sample is present in grade 3 uh, has grade 3 of cancer and this sample has grade 2 of cancer now we want to see that uh, which of the gene out of these six are associated with the uh, any specific grade right so for that we will perform uh, um, Kruskal Wallis or non Whitney man Whitney test using this gene expression right so what you need to do is first you have to go and click analyze and in analyze you have to select the non parametric test and from non parametric test you need to select the independent samples right here I have already selected here you can see that what you need to do here is from settings here you can select man Whitney or Kruskal Wallis and uh, these are two types of tests and I'll let you know what is the difference between these two in, uh, in just a couple of seconds here and uh, then in the test fields I have to I'm selecting all these samples you can click by clicking control select and just select all these and just click right here and now it's in the test fields and I want to see the uh, association with the factor that is tumor grade right so I'm just selecting here the tumor grade and yeah and uh, and the things are done now here you can see the test is selected fields are selected and, and now I just have to click run right now I have just clicked run here here you can see uh, the man Whitney test is unable to compute the reason is that that man Whitney tests are specific only for the two variables uh, two uh, classification for example that is two into two uh, test uh, like uh, if there are grade 1 and 2 then it is good but if there are multiple grades like 1 2 3 4 more than two um, uh, factor values then that that is that will not be used here and specifically we need to use the Kruskal Wallis test right so all the Kruskal Wallis test values are you can see here are um, given here but the man Whitney is unable to compute because each uh, variable contains multiple uh, each uh, the variable contains multiple factors here so here you can see all the variables have not showed any association uh, between the with the uh, grade but only one of them that is uh, tumor grade uh, gene 4 that had showed association here and uh, so what you uh, if you want to s uh, check the details of this association here you just have to double click it and after clicking the results now you can see that the box plot here uh, is showing different uh, association with grade and from the this box plot you can clearly see that the expression of in grade 3 is relatively higher compared to the expression in grade 1 and grade 2 that's why uh, it's uh, showing a slight significant association between the gene 4 and tumor grade however for the rest of the for instance here you can see this this can retain the hypothesis and if you see here that 
uh, it's almost similar expression bit, uh, uh, between the three groups and so on and so forth if you click any other or you can see let's see if we see for the gene one here you can see that the box plots are similar but there is a slight variation here in this between grade gene 4 and tumor grade so here you can see that uh, using the Kruskal virus test uh, gene 4 expression is uh, relatively higher slightly higher in late stage of the cancer compared to grade 1 and grade 2 so in this way you can perform the Kruskal virus test and uh, if you want to perform man Whitney test so for that you have to uh, the, the the groups or the factor values should be only two for example if I'm I just want to compare the association of tumor grade 4 with grade 1 and grade 2 then uh, man Whitney can be applied but for Kruskal values can be used for more than two uh, variables in the factor right uh, so I think that's enough here uh, I hope you have understood it clearly thank you bye bye